everyone. It's Connor back from this old farm, and hopefully you can hear me over the noise. Uh, we got a farm all age behind us running, but we also got the M diesel going. And you can tell. I don't remember if we videoed this or not, but we had to turn it around, or we had we got it turned around. I had pulled it out because I couldn't get it started because we ended up having some starter failure, and I believe our solenoid went bad, so we got a new solenoid in it. But we've got another issue. We got no, oh, pardon me. We got no clutch. If I hop on the tractor here, you can hear that little tick tick is just the fan. It's hitting on the, on the fan shroud, but you can clutch us in and no disengagement. So the clutch isn't working, but with it running, we can at least check for leaks. And we don't have any, from what I've noticed. I don't see anything dripping from the clutch housing, which is where the rear main seal is. The rear main seal is right in here. This is where your flywheel and clutch is. There's no leaks. There's a drip hole down here. There's no leaks. I don't see anything leaking from around the oil pan, which is good. And also there's nothing leaking around the oil filter housing, which is also, again, good. But I gotta get out of here. It's too smoky. My eyes hurt. It's too smoky for my eyes. Uh, but we have that clutch issue and uh, not good. So we'll have to figure out what is wrong with that. Luckily, with these M's here, you don't have to, with, with clutch issues and that kind of thing, you don't have to split them again in order to mess with the clutch. You can leave the tractor together and sort of dink with it and do what you have to do. So, we've got a running M diesel again here. I actually didn't, it was warm enough today that I didn't have to heat it up and it was kind of a, he was kind of an ornery old man getting started, but uh, he finally decided to uh, get some life into him and run a little bit. So this is the first time he's ran since, oh gosh, like May, May or June, something like that. So it's kind of nice to hear him run again. That's really, I like this tractor a lot. I like the way it sounds and stuff. So it, it bums me out that I can't be driving them out right now. I was hoping I was, I was all excited, you know, I got them going, I'm gonna drive them out and then grrr, no, no dry, no, no uh, clutch disengagement. So that's what's going on with the M diesel now. We haven't heard a whole lot on it since I told you guys about putting it together because I believe I told you, told you that I, oh my gosh, can I speak? I believe I told you that we got it put back together. I can't exactly remember, but if I didn't, it's it's back together. It's obviously running now. And now we have a clutch issue. <laughs> so I should have left it alone, I guess, but no, it needed to be redone. You guys saw that. I, I mean, I still have the old pressure disc here too. And you could just, you could see it just needed it. It was down to the rivets, so. Uh, now we'll have to figure out why that's not disengaging. I didn't think it was. It, something didn't feel right. There's a lot of, it, it just doesn't feel like it was touching right. And I'm not too sure why that, why that is. I'll have to look into it a little bit. But that's what's happening with the M diesel. So we got that going. I'm just going to let that sit there and run. Maybe it'll warm up a little bit so that it actually kind of has a purpose for running. The only reason I got Mo running is because he's our only... Him and the and the uh, our backhoe, Pat, our Ford 4500, is the only one that's got, or are the only ones that have alternators that I can switch. Uh, you know, I can switch batteries around and and get things charged. So Mo's just a kind of on charging duty. I'm gonna come down now here to the machine shed, and we left you on a cliffhanger on Wednesday there with this tractor. We got it together. I don't know if this thing's gonna be running anytime soon. Uh, it's fighting me all the way. There's, the tractor's in time. The, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna have to get a light on. Ooh, I just about hit the stop button. The tractor's in time. You can see the distributor is quite a bit turned, but it's in time. I don't, there's a lot of talk about this gear in the front has to be perfectly timed, and I don't believe that. I believe with the fact that the distributor can turn so far, you know, you have so much movement with it that there's no reason that that thing needs to be in, that the gear in the front needs to be in time. I believe it just has to be in time 
down here uh, so that it's you know kicking it's kicking the spark out on number one um, I won't give you guys a whole lot of spoilers because that's going to be in a video of starting the Super, Super M, some of the issues we've gone through already that we've solved, and now we're just kind of at a, it won't fire up. I, I can't get it to run, uh, really. I, I had it running for about, it'll, it'll run for about probably 15 to 20 seconds, what's, what fuel is in the bowl, and then I think what's happening is it's running out of fuel in the bowl and, and not... Um, and it dies, and I'm not sure why that is, because we had it rebuilt. So unless there's been some gunk that that has gotten into it since, it's it, something's not right. And I, the carburetor worked fine before we ended up having that that I issue of getting stuff into the a uh, coolant into the that back pa or back cylinder there. We it, it ran fine. It ran on with that carburetor. I drove it around with that carburetor being rebuilt in the exact same. Con so there's got to be gunk inside of the carburetor because I checked. I pulled off my fuel line down here at the carburetor. I'm sorry you guys can't see it super great. I know the lighting's not great. I pulled that line off. There's good fuel flow all the way down to it. So there's got to be something at the carb. I checked that screen that's inside there. It's clean. I even blew through it just to make sure. And it's still not wanting to... No, it won't even start. Now I can't hardly get anything but pops out of it. So no, I, I don't know what's going on. I, I've tried turning out the screws a bit. I, I think this one I've turned out a turn since it was last. I think this one is out about a turn or a half a turn. I don't get what's going on here. And it's starting to really, really frustrate me, this thing. Because it's just been such a doggone long project we've been working on this thing since 2018 since we started the stinking channel you could hear my frustration in my words i i just i don't understand it i i don't get why now it's not wanting to run i i've gotten the valve set where they should be at cold i just i don't understand it why it'll only run 30 seconds and then it kills so there, there's got to be something inside of that carburetor. I don't, know, I don't know what. I might have to just pull it apart myself and just find out because this is, it's obviously inside of that because I've got, there's nothing that's causing me to not have fuel up to the carburetor. So I don't know why that is, why this is giving me such trouble. But anyways, <laughs> I won't keep yelling at you guys about this tractor. That's where we're at at that. I don't want to spoil a whole lot, even though I kind of already have, but uh, that's where we're... I just kind of wanted to share that on the MD so that we finally got it running, and now we've got that clutch issue to deal with. Um, I, I just kind of... We haven't... I haven't talked, touched a lot on that yet, so I just wanted to make sure... Or just kind of get you guys up in the know here of what's been going on with that. We've just been fighting a lot of electrical issues, essentially, is what it's been. So we've got that going. Other than for that, there's just really been nothing but kind of tractor repairs lately uh this this past week i think it was maybe la might have been last week and the week before kind of roughly uh we had a super big cold spell i know that's not you guys probably all know that that we kind of got hit with the same cold spell that brought texas or snow and all that so we're kind of we finally started to warm up again we've been in the 30s which has been super nice to work on stuff but I mean, you can see I don't even have a winter hat on, and I'm pretty much doing fine here. <coughs> but, just pardon me, sorry for coughing in your face. But anyways, that's where we're at. That's where we are at. We are. We got an M diesel running now. It looks like minimal leaks. We could check it again here. I don't see anything on the concrete floor. That's the one nice thing about it being on concrete, is you can easily check if there's drips, because the oil will be black, brown. Whereas the on, on dirt, you can't really see that. With the floor being completely white from the concrete coloring, you can see easily the oil leaks that are... I mean, you can even see the stains and stuff that are under it from when we pulled it apart and it dripped out some. So if I was on dirt, it'd be kind of... You'd have to be actually looking for drips coming from place, places. Which I actually still will kind of check. It's just... It'd be, it'd be nice if I could drive it. That's what I was really hoping for. And turns out I can't so at least we got it running like I say it's nice to hear it run again because it's been super a super long time and 
all I really listen to is mow here run and it's nice to have a change uh, listen to the four cylinder diesel I really like that sound that's just my personal opinion but that's where we're at fixing trying to fix stuff and just pretty much getting frustrated with everything is what it's been a big frustration ball but that's where we're gonna leave you guys we got a couple more videos of that are backlogged from last spring the spring of 2020 and gosh I can't there's a couple things on the computer that we've got yet and we're kind of kind of getting down to just filming and putting out immediately that's kind of what's happened with the super m but anyways like i said i just wanted to share with you guys what's going on what we've got for uh stuff happening i haven't really worked on i talked about the the gale bell back over there about that being uh that being a something we fix up and i haven't really had a whole lot of time to mess with that because i've been messing with these tractors and stuff so uh, we'll we'll get a video on that eventually here some uh, uh, it's something I want to film I feel like I've just kind of been a tractor repair page here and I'd, I'd rather get more into the farming aspect I know over the summer we kind of have some shots and stuff of farming but I want to get a little bit more farming related I, I I feel like I'm just so much of a tractor repair channel and while I like that while I really like collecting and working on these old tractors I'd like to show you guys more of the farming aspect with these old tractors so hopefully this summer we can get more of that and do more uh, more farming in that kind of oriented video sort of so anyways that's where I've got that's all I got for you today I just wanted to share with you about the good news about the MD well kind of good and bad news of the M diesel and what's going on with the Super M and all that so thanks for watching guys thanks for staying tuned and we'll talk to you all next time